Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought that I would create uh, my idea of a perfect fall look. This is a look that I will be creating today. What inspired the video is as I put up my fall wreath, I took out some pumpkins and some decor, got my fall candle going, and I was like, what would the perfect fall makeup look look like? And so this was it. So I'm gonna go through it. I'm gonna chit chat a little bit. So if you wanna see how I created this look and what products I used, then keep watching. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. As I was thinking about this video, I thought the, 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 the look that came to mind was like, just like a burnt orange, like chocolatey brown, really rich look um, that was a bit smoky, but just that really just screamed fall. So the palette that I thought would be perfect for that is the Nomad Cosmetics Fire and Ice Palette. Um, I, I think this is almost, I guess, in a couple months, about two years old. But I was thinking about, of course, that this row right here. And then there's this black. I think it's like a charcoal brown black um, that I thought would be a really good uh, color to kind of smoke it out. And then I thought, you know, if we need anything extra, we can probably bring in this beautiful palette that I just got which let me know if you guys want like a one week, one palette with this. This is the Glaminatrix Nearly Natural Palette. Really, really beautiful, but I thought we could probably bring in some shimmers from here. I'll zoom you in a little closer. Okay, so I already did my eyebrows and my eye primer. So I think I'll start light and I'll start by going in with this top shade here. It's like a nice orange, matte orange. Really, really good. And I'll probably blend up a little bit. So, even though it's kind of warm outside, I'm still like in such a fall mood. Um, the other day, okay, so we moved here from Texas, like, or from California, like, um, January of 2020. And um, the house that we're in today, it's a rental. And we moved into this house when my husband was still in the hospital. Like, I think he was actually still in a coma. And so, um, let me pull you out just a little bit. And um, the other day, he, like, made a comment that kind of made me sad, you know, because he is still homesick and he wishes that he could go back home. Uh, we're just not in a position to do that right now. Like, I've got some really good stuff going on with work and you know we have a 16 year old that's a junior he's playing varsity soccer this year we have a middle schooler and so they've just after being remote you know for school because of COVID and everything um, they went back last year and so they've just kind of gotten comfortable with their group of friends and stuff so it's just not something that we can do right now and so I know it's bright you guys but I'm using natural light it's actually a little overcast which is weird that it's coming out so bright but anyway so um he kind of mentioned something and I he said that you know he just wasn't like too excited about this house that it didn't feel um like homey that it didn't feel like his house which of course it's a rental but I always try to like put up our the art that we have at you know at our homes or like the pictures try to have like similar decor just to kind of make it feel homey like what we know but he said that he just didn't feel like it was his house and i was like well that's really sad like you know i want my kids and my husband to feel like we're home you know and i feel like some of that not always but some of that kind of falls on me you know and so usually my my mother-in-law she's um it, she used to be an interior designer and she just has really really good taste her home always looks so beautiful and so I kind of picked up on some stuff from her because in general um, my mom was very 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 simple very basic like she didn't really have a lot of decor up or anything like that so I kind of picked that up from my mother-in-law and so I have three boys but like you know like usually girls are the ones that love like when it's the holidays and you decorate everything and make it look nice and just something that feels like 
the holidays, right? Feels like what your mom will do for the holidays. Well, I've noticed over the years that my boys love that. Like they absolutely love it. They just, they like it when the home is decorated. They like it when there's like, you know, um, the tree and like the scents and everything. Um, and so I kind of, that's what got me thinking about this video. Cause I was like, no, like it's still, <laughs> It's still 96 degrees outside, but it is technically like we're getting into fall. And so I went and I got like my wreath out. I couldn't find the tote with my fall decor, but I just went and got some pumpkins. I got like the the fall holiday candles going like just to kind of make it feel like what they've known in the past, you know. The second color that I went in was uh, the darker orange here. And so I'm going to go in with dark castles next. And so uh, that's what kind of got me thinking like, oh, you know, what I love about the fall, what I absolutely love about the fall is always like um, the boots, the sweaters, the pumpkin spice. And so I was like, yes, smoky orangey eye look is exactly what we need. Okay, that's such a deep shade, but look how beautiful that just blended out. I mean, this palette is almost two years old. And it is just beautiful. I recently said that about Nomad in um, a video I just did. I think it was their their Hudson Valley palette. It's like I'm never afraid of using their dark shades because I know no matter what, it's going to blend beautifully. It's very beginner friendly. Because, um, I mean, I'm, I guess I'm not a beginner, but I'm still not very like experienced with like eyeshadow blending and creative looks and stuff but um their dark pigment shadows like they just blend so nicely look at that easy okay so i want more more orange and so i'm going to change my brush up this is the uh, sonia g jumbo blender it's a little dense so i really like it when i really want to pack down color so i'm going to go into this middle shade here again the orange and I'm really going to just pack it on there just to really make the orange pop. So what are some of your um, fall traditions? I would like to know. Um, I mentioned in another, I think it was the same video actually, that um, we don't normally like celebrate Halloween or anything like that. We never have. I think we did when we were really little. But when... Um, my parents started going to church and stuff like that was just one of the things that they wanted to no longer participate in. And so we were young. We were like six and seven years old, maybe. And so uh, we've never really celebrated Halloween. But like what we do during the fall, like I said, is like we do like harvest decor, you know, and um, make sure we have the browns and the oranges and everything out make it look nice that looks pretty i like it so what do you guys do does fall mean halloween decor for you that's what my mother-in-law does it always looks so cute but okay i'm gonna go in with this reddish shimmer here just with a brush and just kind of go over the middle center of the lid One thing that I'm like super obsessed with and I, oh, well, not always, like the last 10 years or so have really, really loved and I don't always make it a point to um, use that decor, but I really love like the Dia de los Muertos, you know, the, the Mexican face painting I think is so beautiful. I absolutely love that. Um, that's something that I'm super, super into. I really like that. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Okay, I forgot to hit record, but I'm going back into the first orange just on a big fluffy brush and just kind of making sure everything looks good, cohesive, no harsh lines. Ooh, I love that so much. Looks great. Hmm. Let me pull the Nearly Natural and see if there's any shimmers that I could use in the in the front there. I don't want to ruin what we've got going on here, but... So there's this shade. It's called Second Skin. It's kind of like a burnt gold. That one might be good for the inner corner. Yeah. I'll show you guys. Look at how cool that is. Whew. 
Yeah, this is perfect. Look at that. Wow, that's so nice. All right, going in with my Sonia G Flat Definer. It's okay. It's not really wowing me. I've used the palette before, but you can see the shimmer there, but in person, it's a very, very subtle. Oh, there we go. Hmm. There we go. It almost felt like there was maybe like a little bit of hard pan. Yep, yep, there we go. I was going to say, the rest of the palette has worked beautifully. That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, we're already looking like we're there. Okay, how to go get a headband. Fall colored headband. Because I'm going to do my base now. Oh, also, look at my earrings, you guys. Are these not the cutest? They kind of just loop around like this with a stopper in the back. My mother-in-law was here recently visiting my husband and we went to Magnolia Farms, uh, the Chip and Joanna Gaines area in Waco, Texas. And so they have the cutest little shop. So my mother-in-law bought these for me. I thought they were so cute, perfect for fall. All right, so I've shared before that I have really oily skin. During the summer, it's even worse because of the humidity and heat here in Texas. It starts to calm down just a little bit as the time the seasons start to transition and so I like to go for like a soft matte look um, still something that's going to control my oils especially in the t-zone but not completely suck the life out of it so I've been using this one by Milk Makeup I bought this one when it had just come out and I don't know what it was but I didn't like it it was like weird like I felt like um because it doesn't feel like a mattifying or primer at all at first and maybe that's what I did wrong it feels kind of like a very light gel lotion and you put it on and then um you have to give it just like a couple minutes maybe five minutes maybe less but I usually give it about five minutes to really dry down and um start to mattify and so um yeah I've been using it and I've been like really trying to pay attention to how it performs and I think it is really good actually. So um, it also gives like that, it doesn't suck the life out of my skin like other primers do or mattifying products, uh, but it does control the oils quite a bit. So I am liking it. Let me point out that. During the summer, I will even extend the primer all the way to the perimeters of my face. It gets oily everywhere. Now, as seasons start to change, I really only feel the need to wear a mattifying primer in this general section. So I'll stick with like this section here and then right above my eyebrows and my forehead because that's where I get the oiliest. These um, areas of my face start to... Um, dry down a little bit and so I don't want to over mattify. Okay, next for my step in my makeup routine is foundation and I just found an amazing combo that I wanted to share with you guys. So I love this um, number one day Chanel foundation. It came out I think in January or December, but it's so so good. It's just not the best for oily skin during the summer with humidity and heat and everything. And so um, I haven't used it as much. I've used it as like a mix in um, and that's what we're gonna do today. But it's with another one that's just very very skin like the Dior backstage face and body so I try to just not do too much so I'll do just one pump which the pumps that come out of this foundation are somewhat smaller than regular pumps I feel and then of course this one doesn't have a pump it just has a little squeezy so I'll just kind of do enough to cover that drop there and then I'll mix them together and it works out because I am starting to lose my color just a little bit. I just, I'm not in the sun that much anyway. Um, but the, um, the Chanel one is my winter shade and the Dior one is, um, kind of like my spring and summer shade. So I'll just put it in 
like this. So, I'm filming this uh, the Sunday after the Pat McGrath Mothership Mega launched. I haven't even looked at this point, but um, I did not buy it, you guys. I didn't. I was at work. I was in a meeting um, until about 10 o'clock my time, central time, so 11 o'clock Eastern. You know, they normally launch at 9 a.m. Eastern. And, um, yeah, I had just come out of the meeting, and so when I opened my phone, I have, like, text messages from Kara and Ash, you know, saying, hey, did you get it? Did you get it? Here's the code, you know, whatever. And um, I didn't get it, and then I was just busy, and then I had to drive home. I was in a very early meeting, and then I had to drive home to take my son to the DMV to get his permit or his license. Yeah, his permit for his license. And so it was just a really busy day. So I was like, okay, I'll sit down at the end of the day and I'll get it if it's still available. And I didn't get it. And so um, when Karen Ash asked me like, hey, did you get it? Are you not getting it? Like, what's going on with you? And I was like, no, I think I am getting it. I think I'm going to wait a little bit. And so what I was thinking is like, hey, I wasn't obsessed. I was obsessed with it when I saw it, which is, you know, if you saw my last video on how to survive the holiday releases, like they play on your emotions and like the hype and stuff. So when I saw it, I was so excited because it was colorful and, you know, it had a lot of the colors that I've been wanting to see from Pat McGrath, like green. Um, but on Friday, I was so busy, so I didn't get to do it. And then when I was thinking about it, I was like, hey, I'm not like, freaking out that I didn't get it so because I wasn't freaking out I thought let me just wait maybe I'll wait and I'll get it during the Sephora VIB sale maybe I'll wait and get it later you know and so um I don't know I'm starting to like kind of like not have that crazy desire to buy makeup every single day or everywhere I go which is like really great for me I'm just taking what's left and just kind of going over certain areas and so I'm just kind of like trying to like pace myself pay attention to those feelings you know um, another thing that I noticed is I was in the grocery store they just started launching uh, the HEB stores here in Texas it's a big deal I guess like I had never been in one um, we actually my sister and I my brother-in-law we just went this morning uh, we got up at 5.30 in the morning to go grocery shopping because we wanted to go check it out because during the day, like, you must take your patients with you because you're going to stand in line outside of the store um, because it just gets so crowded, you guys. It is insanity. And it is a very cool grocery store. It's got really great products for, I would say, okay prices, better than, you know, other stores. Sorry, my piercings coming out and um it was really cool but um I was taking a walk around the entire store just to kind of check it out and then normally when I would go to the grocery store because I hardly ever we're like Instacart people through and through um I hate grocery shopping my husband loves it but he's still not strong enough to do that so I was just taking a walk around to see what was there and every time I would go to the grocery store like absolutely without fail I had to walk through the drugstore makeup aisle and I would always walk out with something no matter what it didn't matter I was gonna walk out with something and I literally had no desire like the only thing that I bought but I bought it from like I grabbed it from the register um, was like a dual pack of the Burt's beeswax chopsticks and that was it so I don't know I don't know what's going on with me still loving makeup but not needing to buy everything so I'm excited about that all right, so another thing, every time I think fall makeup, I'm always like soft matte, soft matte, you know? And so so this is such a beautiful look. Look at that. The skin looks really, really good. And this is natural daylight, so you guys can see exactly what it looks like. It looks like skin, but it looks pretty. I really, really like it. So soft matte, um, appearance of soft matte. So I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. This is in the shade... Graham Cracker 44.1G, so I guess 4.1 golden. I don't, I feel like it's kind of neutral. Maybe a tad bit golden, but I don't find it too gold or too warm. 
Anyway, I think we're making strides. I definitely want to get it. I, I'm just going to wait. Now, one that I do believe I might get when it launches is the Huda Beauty Empowered. That one I'm loving, loving, loving. I don't know what it is, but I really love the, like, the warm tones, the berries. I like all of that. So... I do believe I'll get that. One of my friends told me that there might be like a Sephora friends and family that starts on September 29th. So be on the lookout for that. If that's the case and the palette releases because all Huda Beauty products release at Sephora.com, then I'll get it there for 20% off. But let me know if you got the uh, Pat McGrath palette down below. I definitely want to get a couple of the colored mascaras, I think, from that release. I'm just not sure yet, but yeah. I've heard a lot of people say that this Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer is like one of their holy grails now. And I, I don't, I wouldn't say that it was an instant favorite, but it's getting there, you guys. It's such a beautiful concealer. It's so, so nice. All right, now to um, set my under eye. I know that I've kind of mentioned this product, you guys, but it is so, so good. Honestly, I don't know if I'll repurchase the Pat McGrath anytime soon because this is just as good. I don't know that I could say it's better, but maybe. Like, it's just really good. But it's the Essence Brighten Up Powder. This is uh, in the shade. It's a banana powder is what it's called. Um... I usually go in with like my beauty blender pocket puff my power puff pocket puff but this isn't very damp so I'm just setting with this it just it sets it beautifully brightens just a tad bit and it's just such a finely milled like silky powder yeah it's like silky but buttery at the same time I don't know how to explain it it's just so good all right, before I set my face, I want to do a little bit of cream blush. And I'm going to go in with this one from Merit Beauty. It's called Mood. I just, when I think fall, I think berries. I think orange too, orange and pumpkin, but I think berries. And so I thought this was like the perfect blush to kind of go with this look. That is gorgeous. I love, love, love these blushes. They're so good. I haven't really found that they're like the longest lasting on me, I will say. But they're so good. They're so pretty. I just have to set it with something that looks quite similar. Not quite, but you know what I mean? Quite. Kind of. Kind of similar. Look at how pretty that is. Such a gorgeous look. That's so nice. So naturally the blush that I want to set it with is Pat McGrath Paradise Venus. I think that's a perfect way to set this a beaut. Wow, look at that. That's so pretty. Mmm. So good, you guys. I honestly, I don't even feel the need to bronze. And I think like with a fall makeup look anyway, like the bronzy look, I don't know. I still will bronze the perimeters of my face, but I think I'm going to leave the cheeks like this. That looks so pretty. I really like it. This looks so pretty. What do we think? I think it looks really, really pretty. But we can't get carried away with this glow because, you know, damn well, oily skin girl here. Like, we got to set at least a little bit. I just don't set in between each layer when it starts to cool down. Um, so I'm going in with my powder puff from Beauty Blender and my Dior Powder No Powder. This one gives such a nice um, natural look, but it sets everything nicely. If you have the Dior Powder No Powder and you don't have this Beauty Blender Pocket Powder Puff, I think they call it, you need it. These two products were like made to go together. It just like, I mean, my skin, look at my skin. 
it looks like I have nothing on it. Clearly I do, but it's just like gel-like powder. So it just goes on as if nothing, but it really does set the face really nicely. All right, so during fall, I don't like to do too much highlight. I don't even like to do it during summer that much lately either because we're already kind of dewy with the oils and stuff. Uh, but I thought something subtle would be really nice. So I'm going to go with the um, Charlotte Tilbury Multi Glow. This is so pretty, you guys, and it's, it is very subtle. I do like it. Look at how nice. Sometimes I'll just stick with like the two middle shades or I'll just do the two outer shades, the two inner shades, or just swirl it all around. It just kind of depends what mood I'm in. I think today I'm just going to stick to these two here. Those two bottom ones, just because we're trying to do something a little more warm and fall-like. Look at that. Just the perfect amount of... It's a little bright with my sunlight, but look at that dew. That looks wonderful. What do you guys think? I like it. I'm going to spray. I almost forgot, but let's work on our lower lash line. So I'll go in with the lightest orange here. This is a BK Beauty 207, my little fluffy blender pencil brush. And then I don't want to make it as dark as the top, but I do want to add a little um, green. I've been loving like two tones, two different tones on the top and the bottom. So I'm going to go in with this one with Gallows Lab Lava, this green shimmer here. Just to add a little bit of depth, but um, kind of keep it. The shimmer, I think, helps to not make it look so dark. Just pops really nicely. What do we think? Yeah, I like it. I like how that looks. What do you think? All right, for the waterline, I want to use my Urban Decay 24-7 uh, glide on eye pencil. This is in the shade Torch. How perfect is that? It's the perfect color for fall. So pretty. I love these eyeliners too because they just don't bud from the waterline. They will stay on all day. Uh, that was the perfect name for that shade Torch. I feel the vibes. I feel the autumn vibes. Let me do my mascara and we'll come back and do the lips. Okay, so there is my mascara done. I kind of like the headband, but let me just remove it just because, you know, fading hairline and all. Um, that is looking wonderful. Okay, so for the lips, I pulled out this MAC lip liner the shade is in strip down i thought that i would do something like bold and coppery and burnt orange but i just did that on the look with the hudson valley palette so i think i'll stick with something nude i think that'll look good i'm filling it in just because i really really like the color and it's the perfect nude. I am going to be doing a lipstick. All right. And so, so the lip liner was MAC in Strip Down. And then I have this lipstick in Amaryllis. And this is from the Luxury Collection from Wayne Goss. It's like a kind of a peachy shade. So I'm just going to top the lips with that. All right, so let me see. Let me zoom you out. There's the final look. Look at the skin. Everything looks really good. I was also doing my mascara, and I was like, man, like, this mascara... So what I did was I did my, my Essence Volume Primer, Lash Primer. Then I went in with my Pat McGrath Dark Star. And then just because, I went in with my Charlotte Tilbury legendary lashes too and like look at those lashes like this is a big deal you guys because i don't have lashes i have like the shortest lashes but i feel like this really makes 
my lashes just build and get longer and fuller. All right, so there we go. This is the perfect fall look for 2022. What do you guys think? So again, the skin was very light. We didn't put a lot of powders or a lot of foundation or anything like that. This combo is an absolute winner. I wouldn't necessarily go out and buy them just for this combo, although of course if you want to, yes. But if you have the number one day Chanel and the Dior, oh my God, they're so pretty together, so skin-like. That's another reason why I love filming in daylight, like natural light, because um, sometimes when you do your makeup under heavy studio lights, like you go out in daylight real life and you're like, whoa, you look like you have like studio makeup or like, you know, stage makeup. When you film in natural light, it's exactly the way that it looks and it looks so clean, so nice. I really feel like that was the right blush for like this coppery burnt look that we went with and like how beautiful is this palette? Oh my gosh, I really, really love it. I love how it all came out. So what do you think? What, are, like, okay, I did this orange look with Hudson Valley and then I, I did want to focus on that a little bit. We kind of went a little different with this one, but like, what are your favorite go-to eye colors for fall? I heard somebody else say that they love the berries during the fall, which I think the next video I'm gonna do a berry look. Um, other people, they just like the greens for fall, you know, and I'm a lover of green eyeshadow, but what do you, what is your go-to for fall? I wanna know. So tell me what you think about this uh, makeup look for fall 2022. I think it's perfect. I think it's so beautiful. I love that we were able to pull out a palette that um, is somewhat, I guess, old, you could say, in the beauty space. It's about two years old, but it is just so gorgeous. The shades work the same. Look at how beautiful that is. I also do have a video on this palette, so I'll link it so that you guys can check it out. But anyways, that is my video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. Also, make sure and go follow me on Instagram and TikTok. They're linked down below. And if you liked any of the products that I used today and you want to just kind of peruse online, whatever, the links are down below. They are affiliate links, so I do get a small commission if you use them doesn't cost you anything if you're shopping online. So anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.